Today, we are going to be looking into and trying to answer an important culinary mystery. It involves a certain kind of chocolate, a flake kind of chocolate, and believe it or not, it is said that this kind of chocolate will not melt when you put it into a microwave. So we're gonna find out if it is true. So we've got some milk chocolate and a flake chocolate. I'm gonna put it in the microwave now, see what happens. Now we can see that the milk chocolate has gone completely molten. If we left it in there for long, it would go completely liquid. But this one is still completely solid. We could put the flake in for longer, but it just burn. Some people say this happens because this kind of flake is made out of dehydrated chocolate. This isn't true because all chocolate has a very low moisture content and fat which binds the chocolate together would melt in a microwave anyway. As we've seen, if you put butter into a microwave, you would see that also. Now we're gonna prove this point by using the hob and gonna put in some chocolate onto the pan. So we're gonna put in uh, some dark chocolate, some milk chocolate, some white chocolate and our flake type chocolate. Okay, we're going to leave that for a little bit. You can see already that uh, the dark chocolate is melting. All chocolate is made with a basis of cocoa butter, which is what um, white chocolate largely is. It's cocoa butter, which is the fat extracted from the cocoa beans mixed with sugar. So it's the fatty kind of matrix that holds the sugar and the cocoa solids, the brown stuff from the cocoa bean together. And you can see already that the white chocolate, the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate are all melting, but this one is not at all. Cocoa butter also has a fantastic property that it is solid at room temperature, but it melts at about 35 degrees C, which is temperature of your mouth, which is why it um, tastes so good when you eat it. Now it's a bit of a mystery why this happens, because uh, milk chocolate which melts with the flake chocolate have almost the same ingredients in them. Now it's something probably to do with the tempering process, which is the heating and cooling of chocolate that takes place when the chocolate is being made. I've specially organised some electron microscope images which can zoom in to a thousand times so that we can see the difference between these chocolates and what's going on. And you can see now on the screen that there are chocolate crystals embedded within the fat and in part of the tempering process they've been able to keep those sugar crystals and the fat so closely bound together that the fat cannot join together, cannot form a fatty liquid sheet and so cannot melt. The good thing about this is, is that this kind of chocolate you can leave on your car dashboard and it won't melt or you can put it in your pocket and take it with you.